Welcome back to Food, Fitness, and Faith. Today we're going to do Isaiah chapter 43, verses 18 19. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of the old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Better foods lead to better health. So I went ahead and underlined in green, do not dwell on the past, because that's my ongoing prayer. And in red is the fact that I'm super grateful that he's doing a new thing in my life. He's creating a new life, one day at a time. Let's hear a little bit about the devotional. Take a few minutes to examine your eating habits this morning. Do you gobble down snack foods while watching TV? If so, stop. Do you drink high calorie soft drinks or feast on unhealthy snacks like potato chips or candy? Oops, I've got to raise my hand. If so, you're doing yourself a, dis a disservice. Do not load up your plate and then feel obligated to every last bite. If so, it's time to form some new habits. Poor eating habits are usually well established, so they won't be easy to change. Just keep that in mind. But change them you must if you want to enjoy the benefits of a healthy lifestyle. Baby steps, I would, I would suggest. Today, in your faith journal, write down at least three unhealthy foods that you will eliminate from your diet. I think I mentioned that in another previous um, video. Those are the M&M's, chips, and popcorn. Although have popcorn can be quite healthy at times. So I went ahead and translated those verses in the NASB and the message. And as you can see, I highlighted in green the verses that I want to make sure I will be prayerful about. Like in the message, verses 18 through 21, I went ahead and highlighted so I could be very prayerful for me to be alert and be present. I'm about to do something brand new. It's bursting out. Don't you see it? Yes, Lord, I do see it. And I still want to continue seeing it. And that was my reflection for the day. New life. He's creating new ways in my life. Thank you, Jesus, for salvation and redemption. I went ahead and asked him, Lord, help me step on in obedience today and for me to trust in this new season and see and be able to appreciate the new life he's creating. I would also like to repent any given fear or unconfessed sin. Then I went ahead and counted my blessings. Flexibility and schedule at work, it's a huge blessing. I pretty much prayed so I can he can give me the peace to move forward with three of the options for retirement communities that my husband and I are currently looking at. And in Jesus' name we both pray. Amen. I inscribe these verses. Isaiah chapter 65 verse 17, Jeremiah 23 verse 7, Exodus chapter 17 verse 6, and Psalms chapter 78 16. And so the Jeremiah chapter 23rd verse 7 says, Therefore, behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when they will no longer say, As the Lord lives, who brought up the sons of Israel from the land of Egypt. And then Isaiah chapter 65 verse 17, For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former things will not be remembered. A come or come to mine. That is going to be my ongoing prayer, you all. You'll have a blessed day and we'll then do food, food, fitness, and faith at a later date and a later time. You'll have a blessed day.